Hi and welcome to video three of the component level modeling series. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at the tweak marquee selection option that is available in the modeling toolkit. So I'm going to pull up the modeling toolkit which is the icon here and in this area we see our selection options. So as a review uh, with the pick marquee what that allows us to do I'm just going to go to the selection mode uh, it's going if it's an object mode it allows us to select the whole object and as we hit the move tool we will see a manipulator that works even at component level so I, I'm at a component level I select something and then I get this manipulator which I can move around right and the direction those manipulators point will depend on your tool settings in your move. And right here it's a set to object. I'll go ahead and set that to world. Okay. Now the drag is very similar, except I click and drag. <laughs> Such a clever name, right? And when I release, then I get the manipulator. A shortcut key for the drag is the tab key. So if I'm in pick marquee, you know, clicking away and shift click, and, you know, making a selection, and then I want to paint, I can hold down the tab, and when I do that, it jumps to drag just temporarily until I release it. See that? Tab, no tab, tab. So that's kind of cool. I can jump interactively to the uh, tab, um, sorry, to the drag selection and then that allows me to move that entire selection. The big thing here is the manipulator is still present. However with the tweak marquee tool when I select and I can shift select just it acts like the pick marquee but when I quit selecting even though I have the move tool I don't see the manipulator. I don't see the arrows. Well you can click then on this what you just selected and it allows you to move that. But what's odd in this case is it's only allowing me to move in one direction. And I didn't even get to pick that direction. So I found that kind of buggy. I don't know if that was intentional. Or, but, uh, but what I found is if I go back to the move settings and change that to anything, uh, that, that now when I go back, I can really move this around. Now, I don't have the uh, arrows uh, but it's expecting that you just click something and immediately start to, to work with it. Now the tweak marquee tool also has a shortcut just like the drag does. The drag was tab. Now there's a button above the tab key next to the one key. It looks like a, um, apostrophe. I'm not sure if it is an apostrophe but it looks like one but it's angled the other way. Below the the tilde is on the same key. Not sure what it's called, but if you hold that down, notice how that'll toggle temporarily to the tweak marquee. If you can use it, great. If you want to stick with your standard default pick marquee key, that's fine. But I wanted to introduce that and uh, just let you know how that works. And that's it. In the next tutorial, we're going to begin to look at some of these other tools inside of the modeling toolkit particularly extrude and bridge and maybe even the multi-cut. I hope to, hope to join us in the next video. Thanks for watching.